where now we know how much the fish eat, we know when they're full, we can stop feeding. This allows us to uh, not waste feed. Uh, feed is very expensive. We also don't need to put excess feed into the environment. We just want to feed the fish exactly as much as they need and no more and no less. So whenever a feeding is happening, there's a camera under the cage looking up at the fish. And you can see that in the wheelhouse here. And the, uh, the technicians, the feed technicians, are watching the fish behavior. They can tell when the fish are getting full and they know to slow down the feeding then. These are, these are fish behaviors. He's actually our VP of Feed, Nutrition, and Research and Development, but his expertise or his PhD was in fish behavior, study of fish behavior. Also, um, then um, uh, we keep single year classes in uh, single areas. So we would have all first year fish in one area, second year fish in another area, and the third area would be fallow. And so that means in New Brunswick only about two thirds of our farms are ever operational at any one time. And what's the benefit of that? It just helps with environmental management. It ensures that um, the uh, ecosystem can re, uh, regenerate it allows for um, any potential um, pathogens um, to be, uh, to cycles of pathogens to be um, stopped. Um, it allows, uh, it supports, um, you know, our sea lice management, uh, those kinds of things. You mentioned also that New Brunswick is the hub for, I don't know if it was salmon fishing specifically or salmon farming specifically or... In Atlantic Canada, New Brunswick is the largest producer of farmed salmon. Although there's lots of potential for the industry to grow in both Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. And um, here in New Brunswick, uh, a lot of our farms are based here. A lot of research and development may start here and then expand throughout the region. And it's just because of the research that's been going on in this region right now? Uh, salmon farming is well established in New Brunswick. We've been here for over 30 years. So um, a lot of this work began here, and it helps to inform decisions in other areas. Although it's very important to say that each ecosystem is very different. And we find that even here in New Brunswick. So uh, the uh, ecosystem parameters in Passamaquoddy Bay would be very different than in Grand Manan or in Back Bay.